What's up, everyone? I want to welcome everybody in on this New Year's Day. I, I definitely want to welcome our guest in. Thank you so much for joining me this New Year's morning. Um, I hope everybody had a great New Year's and uh, welcome into 2024. Um, I want to also thank anybody that's watching this. If you are watching this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And last thing I want to ask you, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, go check out our sponsors. They will be down below the links I'll have over their social medias and stuff like that. Please go check them out. That is the Fast Pitch Films and the Soul Ghost Podcast. Incredible people. Love working with them. About four or five months now I've been working with them. So go check them out. So now I'm going to have our guest introduce herself, and we're going to jump into our conversation. Um, hi, I'm Lily Pelko. I am a 2025 graduate, and I just committed to the University of Michigan. Awesome. Well, well welcome in, Lily, and I, I do appreciate your time today. Not going to keep you a long time on this New Year's Day, so let's get started. You talked about being committed to the University of Michigan there, so let's kind of go back here with me and take me through your recruiting process. What was that experience like for you? Um, September 1st was a little stressful, like just with all the texts and calls. Oh, but yeah. Then I got the hang of it and stuff, but just making the decision was a little stressful, but it was all filled with great opportunities of like learning and everything. Awesome. And sorry, excuse my throat there. I'm trying to clear <laughs> it here. Um, yeah, I think uh, I love what you said there. It was kind of filled with learning and that mm -hmm. experience there. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, you know, all the recruiting stories I've heard, there is a lot of stress involved in that. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just a lot of, I call it like a, a ball of emotion sometimes, because yeah. obviously it's a great time, but it's also stressful, happy, yeah, sad, a little bit mad, all, you know, hey, exactly. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Uh, now I want to, the next question here, I want to ask you just about you and your relationship with softball. Like, when did you kind of know that this is something you wanted to do seriously, take seriously and start working towards that goal of getting to the next level? When I was, like, about nine, I got really obsessed with, like, Michigan and Sierra Mero, okay. which, as you can see behind me. Um, <laughs> I, I see that. I was young, so I changed my whole room. But I just wanted to be like her and have her edge. And she's small and powerful, and that's <clears> what <throat> I consider myself as a hitter. So Awesome. I love that. And I, I think it's so cool to hear from the athletes, um, you know, to kind of know that, like, you, you started this out as being, like, a fan. You know, you yeah. started just – Fanning, and I think you know, as you go on and you get serious into something, that may be lost sometimes. You know, it could get lost in all the stress of it and, and stuff. So it, it's, I think it's so cool to look back and talk about like, hey, like I've had a great conversation uh, with a, a basketball athlete. She's in college now, sophomore year, and she always talks about how she has to remind herself of the little girl shooting basketball yeah. in the driveway and, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. thank you for sharing that. So now, give me the best advice you've gotten because I'm sure you got a great support system around you with coaches, teammates, family members. Um, so what's the best advice you've gotten that's really stuck with you? Um, probably just to trust the process. It's something like I kind of struggled with at some point in like trusting it all, but I really just like put my trust in God and like everything around. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And I, and I love that. Um, it's easier said than done sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but thank you for sharing that. I, I love that advice there. Uh, so let's talk about being a student athlete. You know, obviously mm -hmm. now, and more so when you get in college, because there's going to be a lot more workload. Um, but you're, you're still a student athlete now. You're, you're going through everything you got to go through and work hard on and off the field. So talk about how you manage that and preparing yourself for the next level. Yeah, just like when I have downtime, I just try and get all my schoolwork done, mainly in study halls. I get a lot of my work done in school. And like if I am struggling, I have the teacher's support like that I like can get tutoring and stuff. So. Awesome. And I, I mean, I'm, I which you've probably found this out, you know, I think communication is a big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just kind of talk about that where you have to communicate back and forth with people. Yeah, you really do. And just like when you're struggling, like everyone's struggling, but some people are too scared to speak up for themselves mm, yeah. and get the help. But I'm not afraid to do that. So awesome. I love that. I love that. Thank you. I think that's great advice to to for anybody to hear that. Like it's it, you have to talk about it, especially when you are struggling and stuff yeah. there. So speaking of struggles and, and adversity and stuff, let's talk about how you deal with adversity. How do you see yourself dealing and growing in moments of adversity? Mm -hmm. I always try and have positive self-talk, which sometimes it's hard. Yeah. I do like to journal a lot. And I think that helps me like personally, just writing down my thoughts and how I'm feeling about it. Mm. And I do devotions and stuff, which just helps me. Like Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's so good to have those things that are going to help you, whether it's, you know, yeah. for some, it's, it's writing stuff down, you know, for some it's, you know, I love 
getting in a good book or doing devotional mm-hmm. stuff like that. Uh, writing, I, I do sometimes. My writing is very ugly. I, my <laughs> wife will tell you that. So it's hard for me to read it sometimes. So that's hard for me to do a little bit. Um, but I love that you have those things to do there. Uh, now I want to talk about the commitment level, because obviously to get to a school like Michigan yeah. there um, or anything at the next level, anything at the next level is tough to get to there. So just talk about your commitment level personally for you that you've had to have through these years just to get to this point. Yeah. Um, my dad always told me to try and get 1% better each day because someone's mm. always trying to outwork you or working Definitely. when you aren't. So that's what I've always stood by and stuff. Awesome. I love that. And yeah, I mean, I think it's, and I think that's such a good thing. I mean, obviously here on New Year's Day, everybody makes those New yeah. Year's resolutions and everything. Um, but, in, but in reality, it is so try, it's so good to try to get better every day because mm-hmm. like a, a coach of mine uh, that I really respect um, always talked about this, kind of the same thing that you said, your, your dad said, I think you said, yeah. um, he said like, you can't get all better in one day, but you can get better today. You know? Yeah. So it's like, I can't fix everything today, but I can get yeah. better today. So yeah, something little. Exactly. And I think it is those little things. It's those little things, especially in a sport. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many little things that you can do because obviously there might be some big things you got to do, but it's mainly those little things that we kind of miss sometimes there. So now last part here, uh, just a little fun, random part here. I'm going to ask you some goofy fun questions here just to get to know you a little bit more away from the softball world. Yeah. Give me your favorite movie or TV show. Mamma Mia. I love Mamma Mia. Love it. I love it. All (laughs) right. So what is the most random fact that you can think about yourself uh i can juggle i think that's something cool <laughs> okay nice like what are we talking like softballs you know what are we talking i have some juggling balls downstairs that i like, got started with so okay cool awesome now are those things like how are, are those things like a softball are they heavy or are they not they're, or they're like kind of heavier and they're like bouncy they're okay heavy, okay but... i got you awesome <laughs> i love that i love that so now if you could have a superpower what would you choose Probably teleporting. Okay. I like it. I like it. And the last one, obviously, you know, many people and myself know you uh, play softball. You love that sport. You've, you've, you've had to do a lot to get to where you're at with the sport. But besides that, what are some other hobbies, interests of yours? Um, I also play basketball and okay. I like to hunt and paint. I paint a lot. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I love that. I, I always talk about, I wish I can paint. I've tried like, yeah. I have twin boys. And we try to do a lot of arts and crafts. And I'm like, I'm not good at this kind of stuff. But hey, it's yeah. okay there. Uh, thank you for having that little fun with me there. So I got two last things before you, before I let you go. I'll, I'll talk about this. Um, I'll end on uh, something kind of fun here. But let me talk about, obviously, it's 2024. Mm-hmm. So tell me what you're looking forward to now with this coming year. Um, Just trying to earn my spot at Michigan. I know it's like a year away still, but just working every day to get better, get stronger, get yeah. faster. Just all of the above. Awesome. I love that. So last thing here, which you kind of led into that, speaking of Michigan. So I am from the great state of Alabama. Uh, so obviously Michigan and Alabama play today. Yeah. Um, I have a little, uh, I, I was going to wear this hat. So you see here, I have that. Um, and I've seen your, like you said, back there yeah. in the background. So kind of give me your prediction for tonight's game. I really don't know. I feel like this is like the natty game. Like, mm. to, So whoever wins this is going to win it all, I think. But I love I, that. I love. I'm. I'm actually really nervous. I'm really nervous yeah, I, about the game. Uh, I. A lot of people around here. It's a, actually I live near. So it's kind of I'm an Alabama fan, but I live near Auburn University. So I live yeah. near Auburn. I'm actually five minutes probably from Auburn. So it's kind of weird. But I mean, mm-hmm. obviously the South. You know, like in the South and North. Basically, we're going to talk here. Um, but I'm really nervous because Michigan's a very good team there. So I just wanted to have that little yeah. fun with you there. We'll kind of see. I'll, I'll be. I might be messaging tonight during the game, and we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes there. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you so much for your time. I really enjoyed it. Happy New Year's to you and your family. Good luck with everything coming up, except for the game tonight. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Thank you for your time and yeah, enjoy well, the rest of your day. Thank you for having me. You're